Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers video. Today we're going to be starting a new series that I'm going to call Surviving Mars. It's going to be some of my tips and tricks and kind of a tutorial series on starting setting up your base to some of the more advanced stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start a new world and it's going to be Mars. So the game mode's Survival. Gravity is 30% of Earth. Temperature is negative 20 to 20 degrees Celsius. Pressure is 2 kilopascals. Solar energy is 91% of Earth. Solar angle is 8 degrees. Um, so we'll go ahead and create this world. Okay, and we've spawned and the torches are, or flares I guess they are, are spinning all around just like normal. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our construction supplies crate here. And we're going to grab some iron frames. So now we know that the east is this way. I believe that is the east because I think the sun is rising. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, we are going to build our first frames here. Uh, I want it close to the ground but not really in the ground. So we'll build four of these frames. And the first thing that we really need is a power setup. So I will build, I'm also going to build this here, like little tower there. You know, it looks like the sun actually might be setting. I don't know. I guess we will find out. Okay, so now that I grab this, I'm actually just going to grab this whole crate and bring it over to where I'm working. And the next thing we need to do is start to weld this stuff up. So we're going to grab our torch. Man, I like using the word torch. It's more of a welder. And we're going to grab our iron sheets. Pressure. Oh, Critical. as I open my mask Helmet. there. Open. Yeah, it's sometimes Oxygen. a good idea to lock Critical. your mask because... Helmet. So I'm actually going to do that right now. Low pressure. Uh, lock a mask. That is a good thing to do because if you press I, it uh, will open up your mask even if you don't want it to. So it's a good idea to always lock that. Okay, so we'll weld this stuff up. go and this is going to be just the very kind of beginning of our base it's going to allow us to uh, build some of the stuff that we need now because I'm not going to be using this for really anything I'm just going to weld it once to be honest we don't really need to weld it at all but it helps with uh, placing things so we're going to switch out our tool we're all done with our iron sheets here so we can throw these back the next thing that we're going to need is a solar panel uh, so we're going to jump up here, Jetpack. so okay, oh. that kind of makes you jump, and I'm just going to place it down, and I'm going to stay just a little bit away from it, because sometimes when you build it, it can damage your suit. So I'm going to build it like this. Now I'm choosing to build the solar panel that has the data port and the power port on different sides. This will come in handy later when we're building a system to automatically change their solar angle based on the sun to get more power out of it. But for now, we're just going to set ourselves up for success and build it like that. So now I can turn my jetpack off. Jetpack on. There we go. And start building the cabling here. So I'm going to build a cable corner and connect it up here. There we go. If I can figure out how do you uh, do that. There we go. And then we'll bring it down and I'm going to build a three-way junction here. Uh, is that right? No, that isn't right. Turn it. There we go. A three-way junction here and a corner here. There we go. Okay, now that I have that stuff placed down, I can go ahead and grab my APCs. Now, we don't have a station battery at this point. That's going to come later, but this is kind of the way I cheat around having a more constant power supply. These aren't, these aren't perfect, but they work for now. If I can get back up on, my, uh, on the ledge here, maybe I'm having issues with that. There we go. Okay. So now we just need to rotate these guys. Um, let's see here. There we go. And I, Obviously this has a power and data in and a power out. 
So we're going to place them down just like this. And I usually place them upside down, so it's always a good idea to look. Okay, they're actually placed right. Okay, so then the power from your solar panel will be able to come into here and charge up any batteries that you have in here. So the next thing that we're going to need is a battery. I can throw my tools back here. Now luckily they do provide you with one large battery. This actually gives you quite a bit of power, um, especially for starting out. Okay, so now we have that. We will also need a piece of glass, which will be right here. And that is going to allow us to finish construction of that solar panel. So now it's producing zero watts of power, obviously, because it's nighttime. But when the sun starts to shine, we will start getting some power from it. So while we're waiting, uh, we can go ahead and build a arc furnace, if I can find it. It's in construction supplies. I always forget where this guy is. Um, not organic supplies. Which box is it in? Probably back in the box I was already in. Okay. Um, so we're going to build our arc furnace. We will come and we will play that place this uh, right here. How about? Oopsies. There we go. So we'll rotate it and. You know, this will be pretty easy to wire up like this. So I'm going to build it right here. And then that's going to be easy to wire, and then it will dump everything out right there. So I'll grab my cable coil here. And let's wire this up. So, the, yeah, this is a temporary solution, but it actually works pretty well for a while. And if you end up being able to make another large battery, it can actually be a pretty substantial power source. Um, and your suit has a large battery in it as well, so I'll actually show you how to charge that up. Let's see here if I can. There we go. Okay, now we got that connected up. So now, even though it's night and we have no power coming into our solar panel, we can go ahead and flip this guy on. And you're pretty much going to want that on at all times. We can actually come up to here and power this on as well for when we get a battery in there. And you can turn your furnace on. I'm going to keep it off for now just to save some power. Uh, another tip that I have is I like to go and like this tracking beacon this isn't something that I'm going to use right now. So I'm going to drop it. And I'm going to steal this small battery out of it. Now, the small battery isn't the best but it is going to give you some more power and it is going to recharge in there as well. So let's just say our battery is getting low, which using your light at night will definitely contribute to that. We can go ahead and grab our battery. Actually, before you grab it, you want to pull the battery out of here and then you can press F and it'll exchange those batteries. So then you always have one in your suit. You don't want to accidentally pull it out because that can cause some problems. And we can go ahead and place that in here. And now you can see it's blinking uh, blue and red there. Uh, that just means that it is not charging. So we can uh, wait until morning and we will see how this thing works. Okay, guys, the sun is starting to rise. Unfortunately, we're behind a hill a little bit, so that's going to make our power setup not the most efficient, but it'll only be for a little bit of the day. So we can see, even though we have a solar panel here, we're still producing zero. Now that's because the angle of our solar panel and the angle of the sun just aren't really lining up. So we're going to go and I actually grab my mining belt here. I need my tool belt. So we'll throw this on. Okay, and then we're going to grab our wrench. And this is going to allow us to change the angle of this solar Jetpack panel here. On. So what we're going to do is we're going to Let's tilt it downwards. So that isn't quite what we need. So I like, I'm going to tilt it 90 degrees. That's just going to allow me to tilt it up and down in order to get my power. So this certainly is not the most effective setup, but uh, try and get it closest to 500 that you can. Yeah, so we're going to be around here for now. Maybe one down. There we go. And so that's going to give us a 
bunch of power and as you can see this is flashing now blue and green so that means that it is currently charging that battery inside of here now you can see if you accidentally were to turn this off it doesn't charge it at all so if this is off it won't even charge it and it won't allow power to go off out so it's a good way good reason to uh, keep them going now one thing that I like to do sometimes is especially at night um, if you can just not use your light if you can use torches because you really your light uses a lot of power uh, sometimes I like to take this small battery and switch it into my suit um, and that just allows me to especially during the day to charge up these large batteries and at nighttime if I just want to kind of stay at my base and I just want to use my furnace and if I want to use my auto lathe which I should probably place down it's going to give me a lot more time to do that because these batteries are so much larger. So speaking of the uh, auto lathe, let's go ahead and grab that and we can place that down now as well. Uh, new inventory system. Okay, so we'll come over to our construction supplies here and we can grab our auto lathe. So I have my furnace here, so let's just see, maybe I will build it Let's see, right over here. Yeah, I think this will work. Yeah, right there. So that'll allow me to access the stuff that comes out of here and the stuff from my auto lathe. So now, if we're gonna do some more wiring, we can grab our wire cutters here because we've already placed this down. So we can destroy these and we will build a, let's build a three-way corner you just want to try to be as efficient with this wiring as possible. We can figure this out, maybe not. There we go. Um, just because uh, you don't have a lot of it to start. It is pretty easy to build, but for now we'll just use this, the least amount as possible. Okay, so then we will turn this. Get it into there, perfect. Okay, now we can use our auto our arc furnace and our auto lathe now during the day keeping these on is a uh, is okay um, but you certainly can run out of power because after a certain point the solar panel won't be getting any so as you can see now it's only generating 62 watts I mean our batteries are actually they're not even full still so it's a good idea to you kind of have to monitor this at all times just because you need all that power you can get so we, we can tilt this back upwards and hopefully get some more power out of it. It looks like we're going to have to go to like maybe a little, maybe like 70, maybe 60. There we go. And that's giving us a pretty good amount of power. And again, our batteries are fully charged. So. Uh, just because power really is your most valuable resource at this time, it's a good idea to just keep everything off that you possibly can. Well, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Um, if you have any comments about anything that I did or anything you'd like to see, please leave those below. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.